Daniel Ricciardo is one of the beloved figures in the sport of Formula One. And while he doesn't have a legitimate seat next season with Red Bull, his presence with the Milton Keynes-based team. His signing has sparked discussions as to whether or not the smiley Australian will be inching Sergio Perez out of his seat by the end of next season. So, is there any truth to this? And what does Checo have to say about Daniel's arrival to the team? During this past season's summer break, it seemed as though everyone was talking about where Daniel would land after officially announcing that he and McLaren will be parting ways by the end of the 2022 season. And these discussions carried through to the end of the season, as everyone still believes that Daniel has what it takes to compete in Formula One, including his former boss at McLaren, Zach Brown. I think it's good to have Daniel in Formula One regardless of what team it is. It's a positive and, most importantly, I hope we see him in a Formula One car. And while ideally, every one of us would want Daniel actively competing next season, the Australian himself has said that he needs to take a step back from the sport after two very stressful seasons with McLaren. Daniel has previously said that he had to go speak to a psychologist to help cope with his struggles. I started to speak to a psychologist last year, he revealed. I was neglecting friendships and thought it would be good to talk to someone to make sure the two sides of my life didn't cross over. It was hard to remove yourself from what was happening in the racing. Daniel would also share that recent retiree and former Red Bull driver himself, Sebastian Vettel, had provided him with a great amount of emotional support throughout the 2022 season. He's picked up the phone multiple times this year and just been a friend and just showing care and just checking in as a true friend would do, Ricardo said, as per speedcafe.com. To have friends like that is so important, but it's also not that common in terms of on the grid. We get on with drivers and you do build friendships, but to have that deeper level of friendship some gestures he made this year and some of the kindness he showed towards me was, in a way, unexpected, but just super nice. Super, super nice. Which is also why he believes that some time off from racing will only help him to be more hungry to get into an active seat in 2024. It's about getting enough space to rebuild myself. I don't want to get too deep. I'm not on a voyage of self-discovery, but taking some time off, going on some journeys and adventures will help. I look back at 2022 when we eventually got racing again, and it was in my assessment one of my best years in Formula One. Everything just felt like I was firing on all cylinders, and it felt good. I definitely owe some of that to just having that pause and missing it, ultimately, and kind of craving to come back. And now that he will be officially Red Bull's reserve driver for next season, the Australian would be asked why he chose to take a back seat with Red Bull rather than signing with Williams or Haas, who would have gladly given him an active role. The Australian would reply to this and say, I feel a bit of risk on both sides, but if I was to be back on the grid in 2024, this has the biggest upside. I think the risk is jumping into a seat next year. It's shown here in my time at McLaren that nothing's guaranteed in terms of performance, so if it was, for whatever reason, to be a relatively unsuccessful campaign, I think personally I would probably be done with the sport. So that risk seems way bigger than the risk of sitting out a year. Former F1 driver and Red Bull compatriot believes that Daniel's decision to move back to Milton Keynes shows that he is making an effort to rekindle his spark for the sport. I think that it shows you that he's still trying to find his passion back for the sport, Weber told Channel 4. Obviously, we've seen a tough time for him a little bit at Renault, more at McLaren. He had a phenomenal start to his career at Red Bull, obviously. Can he have an opportunity, though, being a reserve driver there or doing a lot of the marketing part of the component, which is obviously difficult for Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez to do when they're on the road? So it's a chance for him to stay in the sport with the best team. So that's his option, and he thinks it's attractive and he's going for it. I think I've mentioned it countless times on this channel by now. Daniel's best years in F1 were during his days at Red Bull. 
So it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to think that Checo's seat would be in jeopardy if the team does play with the idea of changing their driver lineup. But Perez, being the laid-back operator that he is, says that he isn't worried in the slightest. I'm pretty relaxed, the Mexican told Sky Sports F1. We live under a lot of pressure all the time. It doesn't change anything from my side. I think it's a great achievement for the team to have a driver like Daniel. He's going to contribute a lot to our team. He's a great guy. He's one of the guys I get on with the most in the paddock. It's just great to have Daniel in the team, and from my side, it doesn't change anything. Daniel and myself, we started our careers at a similar time. We've known each other for a long time and certainly get on with him. Daniel's role with Red Bull for the 2023 season will only see him do simulator and marketing duties, so he will not be required to be part of the team for the entirety of the 2023 season. The Australian driver would say that his decision to sign with Red Bull will only help him to remain in sight of other teams' minds as he hunts a 2024 grid spot. It's nice to be in a winning environment. I think you learn a lot, Ricardo said to Speed Cafe. If there's not a seat with them, potentially they can help find a seat elsewhere. Also, being linked with a top team, a bit like Nick DeVries was with Mercedes, you're living with a top team. I feel like you're more, I don't want to use the word relevance, but you're kind of more recognized and less forgotten. So there's a lot of things. Daniel would then break down his role within the team and say that while he'll still be around the sport, he will take advantage of his newfound freedom and take some time away from the sport. I'm not going to do every race, Ricardo said. I still want that time to myself, but I will be at some races to do some sim, listen and try to lend my experience and stuff, and if I can help, sure, that's a great thing. If I can do any form of testing, that would be nice just to stay also car fit. So it's kind of just being in enough where I'm still keeping up to date, so to speak. But then this is enough removed where it does give me that break. And I'm sure when I'm at the races watching, I'll be envious I'm not on the track. So these things will probably feed me in a good way. And there you have it, guys. So do you think Daniel will inch out Checo for a seat at Red Bull in 2024? Let us know in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't.